So I, I want to um, tell you a little bit about my bias on this session. And it, it comes, we were just talking about sort of the religious background, right? It's not my religious parable, but I know it resonates for many people. This is a little bit like the Jesus parable in terms of you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. You teach a man how to fish, you feed him for his lifetime, right? Before, this is my bias, but before we jump into the techniques of particular financial literacy, I think we have to have a conversation about the culture. How do we create a safe culture to have conversations about class? And so the work that I've done and the research I've looked up and prepared for you today is really about having a conversation about creating a space where it's okay to talk about class. And as a college, we've done a great job, I think, on the financial literacy side. We may not have done as well, hello, um, on the preparatory side. So we're going to spend, oh, great, okay, thank, no problem. Uh, NASA's arrived. So we're going to spend a little time um, talking of today about creating a space culturally that allows for a conversation around class. And I'm going to make the argument that when we talk about identity, class needs to be an aspect of that identity. So with that, there's a lot of research we're going to look at today. You have copies of um, the PowerPoints. I gave you them when you came in. The last couple of slides are all links to the online versions of these research studies. You're welcome to take a look at them. I also have kept copies on my own personal database so that if and when you look at these and if they're not available any longer, they've moved or whatever, um, let me know and I can send you a copy of the relevant research if you're interested. I would also tell you there's one piece that you won't be able to find on the web. I've printed it out for you because it was, um, I'll tell you about it a little later, um, but as a gift to you at the end of the night, I'll be giving you that in exchange for your evaluation. So your job is to do your evaluation for the session and then you will get that last piece. But let's start here. So what do we know about why diversity? Why does diversity even matter in the higher education space? Well, the re there's very limited research. So if you're looking for a doctoral thesis question, this is a great one. What is the impact of a diverse college environment for student outcomes? But the limited research that there is does show consistently that racial and ethnic diversity has both a direct, indirect, direct and indirect positive outcome on student experience and outcomes. Right? And so what we know, this comes from a piece called Does Diversity Make a Difference? And the answer is it does. Right? That by attending to multicultural learning, we extend the mission of the college or the academy. How many of you have been following the Harvard admissions case that's been going on right now? Right? Um, you know, for those of you who know, have been following it, it's about a group of Asian American students who are suing Harvard, claiming that Harvard has turned them down, even though they should qualify, because they're Asian American. Harvard's response is a really interesting one. It actually goes to this question, right? Harvard's response, if you read what they're saying, is that diverse makeup of a class is a social good. And that by saying some Asian Americans might be turned down who are more qualified than students of other racial or ethnic minorities or other racial or ethnic backgrounds, they're doing so to create diversity. And that diversity is a good for the students enrolling and it's a good for society. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens with that case. Um, the history of this case is it's the same gentleman, by the way, who also brought the U Texas cases and the other cases um, where it's been a, a Caucasian student who's been suing. In this case, he's representing an Asian American. Um, we'll see what comes out of this. And the question is, ultimately, it'll probably go to the Supreme Court. Um, but what we do know about diversity is that it does have a positive impact on students of all races, by the way, not just diverse students, but students of all races. Okay, well, what about socioeconomic diversity? What's the research show us about that? Well, what's interesting is that if you have a socioeconomically diverse institution, that institution is more likely to have cross-racial communication. The more diverse your institution, the more cross-racial communication there is, the more curricular diversity there is, and socioeconomic diversity enhances the campus racial climate. So again, these are research findings that come out of uh, the research, and I would highly recommend you take a look if you're interested. Um, the recommendation is that if you want to enhance the educational benefits of diversity, that as a college, you can't just pay attention to racial or ethnic diversity, you have to also pay attention to socioeconomic diversity. 
right? And that that intersection of race and class is a really, really poignant place. How many of you are familiar with the Peace and Justice Institute on campus? 